I am an architect and have wanted to be that all of my life, so I'm living my life stream. And uh, for me, being an architect means three specific things. One is um, teaching. So I've been a member of the faculty at Carnegie Mellon since 1981. Uh, the second is doing research. I've been a part of the Center for Building Performance and Diagnostics since 1988 and was the project manager for our flagship building research lab, the Intelligent Workplace. And the third piece is practice. So I have the ideal circumstance in that um, I can do all three of those things simultaneously and I find that um, each one informs the other and I think makes me more effective as an architect. I firmly believe in the power of education as a way of taking the things that I believe and broadening the number of people who are practicing that way. So I've always tried to be as an educator someone who inspires my students to achieve lofty goals. One of the exercises that I have my students do in my Zero Energy House class is to um, design a building that achieves the German passive house standard. And just to give you a metric on that, um, the typical McMansion in the United States consumes about 150 kilowatt hours per meter squared of occupied space per year. Um, a low energy house, and that, that, so that's meeting the current energy code in the United States, 150 kilowatt hours meter squared per year. Um, a low energy house, according to the German standard, consumes 30 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year, so a reduction of five times. And to meet the passive house standard in Germany, your heating load has to be less than 15 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year. So a factor of 10 times, and it's, it's doable. So it's not futuristic, it's not pie in the sky ideas. I've often been asked, what would it take to make my building green? Obviously, as an architect, this is a question that I get asked many, many times. Um, in the extreme, the three points that I would make are that the building needs to be zero energy, it needs to be zero carbon, and it needs to be zero water. Is that achievable? Only in the rarest of circumstances, but it really clearly establishes a goal that we can all aspire to.